For the cheapest coins with fast delivery and quick customer support, check out my sponsor, Red Zone Coins, and use code SWIFT at checkout for 20% off. Soul 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 family, and today I'm coming back at you guys with another Madden 20 video on the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over a few different coin making methods for you guys to try out. If you follow all the methods I talk about in today's video, I'm thinking that everyone watching this should be able to make a few hundred thousand coins very, very easily. Uh, so super stoked to share these methods with you guys in today's video. Now, before we hop into the video if you guys have been able to make coins off my methods in the past or if today's video is effective for you guys I'd really appreciate it if you could drop a like down below uh, the support with the likes and comments is absolutely huge uh, so if you have been able to make coins off my stuff drop a like drop a TSF down below in the comment section and without further ado let's hop into the first method of today's video so for this first coin making method, we're gonna be utilizing the theme builder solo challenges, and we're actually gonna to have to come and take a look at the unlock challenges section screen uh, to see if you guys are gonna be able to do this method. Now, essentially what you're gonna to have to do is about five minutes worth of solo challenges or five to 10 minutes worth of solo challenges in order to make 100,000 coins. So very, very lucrative. Um, and let me explain how this method works. Firstly, I wanna give a shout out to M underscore miles eight on Instagram for sending me this. And I also saw this on quick to the points YouTube channel. Uh, so shout out to those two people for coming up with those methods. Now, let me show you guys essentially how this method is gonna work. There's kind of two ways you could do this. The first way is if you still have theme selector tokens left, you actually earn these tokens basically right at the start of the year. And I'm sure a lot of people just kept them in their item binder and didn't do anything with them. So if you're in that situation, I would recommend you put theme selector tokens in the Falcons, the Browns, the Steelers, and the 49ers unlock challenges screen. And essentially that's gonna unlock some specific solo challenges, which I will get into in a second. And they are very, very lucrative. Now, if you're like me and you already did end up using your theme selector tokens, you kind of just want to hope that you did either the Falcons, Browns, Steelers, or 49ers. I got lucky and I ended up doing the Browns earlier in the year. So I'm actually kind of set. I'll be able to do part of this method. As you can see, I didn't do the Falcons or the 49ers down here, um, but that's totally fine. I'm still going to be able to make coins. So essentially what you're going to do when you've either used up all your tokens or seen where you have tokens available is we're going to need to come into the solo challenges section and we're going to scroll down to the theme builder section of the solo as you can see, um, it's all the way down at the bottom. It came out quite a long time ago. And for the theme builder solo challenges section, you're going to take a look at those teams uh, that I mentioned before. As you can see, I got kind of lucky and I ended up selecting the Browns earlier. So if you have not yet played these solo challenges, which I'm assuming most of you guys haven't, uh, these did take quite some time. Most of the people on my friends list hadn't played much of these. So I'm assuming most of you guys haven't. So yeah, assuming you haven't played these solo challenges, all you're going to need to do is play the first solo challenge on one star difficulty. And as you can see, when we get this first solo done, we're going to be able to get Miles Garrett's power up, which is very, very expensive. I'm going to go into the store here and I'm going to show you guys exactly how much each of these power ups are going to sell for. Um, but essentially, if you get the Browns one, you get Miles Garrett. If you do the Falcons one, you're going to get Alex Mack. Uh, for the Steelers, you're going to get TJ Watt. And then for the 49ers, you're going to be getting George Kittle. So let me go into the trade block here or the auction house, sorry. Um, and we'll take a look and see how much of each of these power ups are selling for. Uh, you guys will be surprised when you see how much these are going for. Um, and firstly, let me show you guys the Miles Garrett. So right now, Miles Garrett is selling for a price of 80,000 coins. And all I'm gonna have to do to get this Miles Garrett is literally play like 10 minutes of solo challenges. So that's almost 100,000 coins in 10 minutes. And next up, I wanna get, show you guys how much the Alex Mack is selling for. Um, and I'll actually get into how you could do this on side accounts as well, because this is almost worth it to do on side accounts as well. As you can see here, the Alex Mack right now is selling for a price of 65,000 coins. Um, and the other two cards that I wanna show you guys are TJ Watt and George Kittle. Those are going to be a little bit less expensive, but they're still probably worth it in my opinion. Uh, TJ Watt selling at like 4k. That could be worth it for just playing a couple minutes of solo challenges. And then we also have George Kittle right here, um, who's also going to be selling at a price of 6.5k. So I'd say George Kittle is probably worth it uh, to get the solo challenge done. But of course, Alex Mack and Miles Garrett are two very, very expensive cards. And I would honestly recommend you guys probably do this on side accounts as well. Um, you could make like 150,000 coins by doing each of these solo those and just putting your theme selector tokens into each of them. Um, but if you guys have not yet used your theme selector tokens, I beg you, go put them into those sets and do the solo challenges. You can make almost 150,000 coins in about 15 minutes if you just get the Falcons one and the Browns one done. So a very, very effective method at the start of the video, which basically every single person should be doing to make very good coins off of. So for the second method in today's video, we're actually going to be completing the Harvest Master Michael Irvin set, and we should be able to make almost 200,000 coins 
just for completing this one set right here. It does take a little bit of time to actually get it done. Um, I would say about 20 to 30 minutes, but as you can see, you get a 94 Michael Irvin when you get the four Harvest Masters up to a 92 overall. I'll show you guys how you can do that and I'll show you guys how much it's going to cost. But firstly, I want to show you guys how much Michael Irvin is actually going to sell for. That way we can see how much revenue we make and then we can figure out how much profit we're going to make at the end. So let's hop into the store and let's take a look at Michael Irvin, his 94 overall card. Right now, I believe he should be selling for around 300,000 coins. The reason why he's so expensive is because, because he did just get that power up expansion. Uh, so we're going to go by Michael Irvin and we're going to take a look at his Harvest Master. So yeah, I filtered it down to this Michael Irvin. As you can see, he's selling for around 275 right now, which is totally fine. You're still going to be able to make a really good profit off of this card. Now let's hop back into the sets and let's see how we can actually get this card. What we need to do to put into the sets. So let's hop back into the sets and let's talk about what we need to do to actually get the set done. As you guys can see, the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to buy all these lower overall turkey stuffer cards. Now each of these is going to cost you around 2.5k and you're going to need to buy all four of these right off the start. So buy the Tom Brady, buy the Odell Beckham Jr. You're also going to want to buy the Zach Ertz and then the Quinton Nelson as well. All these are going to cost you on average, I would say 2.5k. Um, so that's going to be about 10k that we're going to have to invest uh, right at the start because we're going to have to get each of these turkey stuffers up to a 92 overall by feeding them side dishes and main course collectibles. So once you have all the cards um, at their lowest overall version, you're going to have to hop into the exchange sets and you're going to have to start getting some of these side dishes and then main course collectibles. So essentially how it works is each card is going to require each of the four side dishes and then they're also going to require each of the four main dishes in order to become their 92 overall version. So as you guys can see with the side dish collectible right here, um, what you're going to need is you're going to need three gold harvest players. Now as you guys can see, each of these gold harvest cards right now is selling for a price of almost 3,000 coins and in my opinion, that is just way too expensive. You don't want to pay that much for one of these cards. You can actually get these cards for closer to 1,000 coins and I'll show you guys exactly how you can do that right now. So essentially what you're going to want to do is instead of buying the gold harvest players, which is just too expensive, you're going to want to get the gold harvest player set done and essentially this is going to cost you 170 to 74 and 175 to 79 overall gold. So I'm going to quickly hop into the auction house and show you guys how much each of those cards are going for. That way we can see how much it's actually going to cost us to get a gold harvest player instead of actually just going and buying them for 3,000 coins, which in my opinion is totally not worth it. So I'm going to filter it down and just show you guys how much these are going for. Essentially, you should be able to get each of these for around, I want to say 1.2k at most. And that's if you're lazy and not filtering it down at all. But we're going to go 70 to 74 filtered down by the core gold. And then we're just going to take a look at a couple of positions. You honestly should be able to get your 70 to 74s for like 500 coins at maximum. We'll take a look at cornerback and wide receiver, which are usually some of the cheapest positions. As you can see, 650 for a corner. That's actually decently expensive right now. But again, if you're buying at around 1.2k uh, combined for both of these, you're going to be in a good spot. Um, and the 70 to 74s and 75 to 79s are basically selling for the same price. Um, as you can see, 850 for a 75 to 79. We'll also filter it down by a couple of other positions because right now these golds are looking a little bit more expensive than usual. Here's a little cheaper. Yeah, you can get these golds uh, for like 500 coins. You can snipe them really, really easily. So on average, it's going to cost you around 1.2k in my opinion to build a gold harvest player. And as you can see, all you need is 75 to 79 and a 70 to 74. Once you get each of those cards, you just put them into the set and that's going to allow you to get your gold harvest player. And I'm going to use that 1.2k as the number for how much we're spending on these cards instead of using the 3,000 coins because um, that's one key step that you guys are going to have to follow in order to make the most amount of profit by doing this method. Okay, so now that we know we're spending 1.2k on average for each of these gold harvest players, um, we're going to have to calculate how much it's going to cost in order to feed all of our players these side dish collectibles. So right off the bat, we know 1.2k times 3 is 3.6 thousand coins, and that's going to be how much it's going to cost us to get this set done one time. Now, as you guys know, you're going to have to give each player all four of these side dish collectibles. So right off the bat, let's say we're just upgrading our Tom Brady. Um, we're going to have to spend 3.6k times four because we have to get all four of these, and that's going to end us costing us 14.4 thousand coins in order to get one player from a 77 to an 84 overall. Now, we have to do that with all four of our cards, so we're just going to multiply that by four, and that's going to give us an answer of around 57,000 coins in order to get all three of our players, or all four of our players, sorry, um, from their 77 overall version to their 84 overall version. Next up, we're going to have to do this main course collectible, and we're going to do some very, very similar math uh, for this part of it. 
So as you guys can see, this main course collectible set is a little bit different than the side dish. It's going to require an 86 to 89 overall harvest card instead of 377 to 79 overall harvest player. So for this set right here, essentially what it's going to cost you is let's say on average, you buy these cards at 5,000 coins. I know you can get them basically all for cheaper, but for the sake of the video, let's say you buy them at 5k because these prices could go up um, after I make this video. So you buy these cards at 5k and you're still getting your other gold harvest players at around 1.2 thousand coins on average. Now if we do the math for that, that's going to end up being around 7,400 coins in order to get one main course collectible. Now we're going to do the exact same calculations as we just did. That 7.4 thousand coins is getting multiplied by four because we need to get all four of the collectibles, right? So that's going to end up being around 29.6 thousand coins and that's going to be what What's needed to get one of our 84s all the way up to their 92 overall version and once they're at their 92 overall version they can be put into the set but we have to do that with the three other cards as well uh, so when we do the math for that then that ends up being around 118,000 coins in order to get all of our cards from their 84 overall version to their 92 overall version so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add up the two numbers we're gonna add up the 57 and we're gonna add up the 118 to see our total cost in order to get our harvest master player so that's going to give us a total number of 175,000 coins in order to get 94 overall Michael Irvin, his power up, and all of the nats that you just got from this. So let's take a look at how much value we can get from all that, because we know we just spent 175,000 coins to get this done. So as you guys know, the Irvin is going to sell for around 275. So just off the bat right there, that is going to be a profit of 100,000 coins. I know after tax, it'll probably be a little bit less than that. Um, but once you also add up the Michael Irvin power up, you should be profiting, I would say around 90 thousand coins uh, just in coin value but you're also going to get those th four nats back uh, which you can quick sell for trading all those nats are going to quick sell for around 2500 trading so that means when you quick sell all four of them you should be getting an additional 10,000 trading points now with that 10,000 trading there's a couple of different things you could do if you want to you could rip your alternate uniform offensive playbooks um, I would probably recommend you do that it's only going to be 10,000 trading if you guys don't know how this method works you basically just buy this pack right here and then quick sell and any card that you get from it, uh, you can just pick the first playbook and quick sell it right there. So let's say you end up doing that. Let's see how much coins you're additionally going to make um, if you use that 10,000 trading to do the alternate uniform playbook method. So if you guys do the alternate offensive playbook fantasy pack method, you should be able to make an additional 33,000 coins um, off of that training. So that means you should be profiting off this method around 125,000 coins. So really effective. It is going to be a little bit of a grind. It'll probably take you around 20 minutes, I want to say, but 20 minutes for 125k that's a pretty good deal to me plus you spend those additional 10 minutes at the start of the video getting the other solo challenges done at this point you should be up almost 250,000 coins before we even get into the final method here so for this final method we're going to be using the nfl playoff set i want to give a huge shout out to my man jackson throws on twitter for sending me this again if you guys have any other methods be sure to send them to me on instagram or twitter and you could be featured in a video so here's how this method is going to work. Essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to complete three of these sets um, for any of these heroes. I'll go over which ones are the cheapest in just a second, but we're going to get three of these sets done in order to earn our 96 overall champ Bailey. So just like what we did for the last method, I want to see how much the champ is selling for. I believe the champ is selling for around 180,000 coins right now, if I'm not mistaken. And again, you're also going to get those 95s back as nats. Um, we're going to be able to do the exact same thing we did with the last method, where we did the playbooks um, to make even more coins off of this. So so firstly, let's see how much the champ is selling for. I believe, like I said, um, I think he was selling for around 200,000 coins, maybe a little bit less than that the last time I checked, um, but let's see how much he's going for. So right now, Champ Bailey is selling for 190,000 coins, which is perfect. That's a pretty nice price point. Um, and essentially what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get his set done um, at a much cheaper price. So I'm going to hop into the sets right here and we'll go over some of these numbers in order to see how much coins we can make off of doing these sets. So as you can see, uh, we're going into the NFL playoffs. We're going to go into the AFC. C tab and we're going to want to see which of these players is the cheapest to get done. Now I've been doing a little bit of research before this and the Titans, the Bills, or the Chiefs are going to be the cheapest ones um, in order for you guys to get a 95 because you can put in any of the 95s into this set right here in order to get the Champ Bailey card. So, so let's take a look at the Buffalo Bill set right here for Tremaine Edmonds. Josh Allen right now looks like he's going to be going for a price of around 15,000 coins. Uh, we also are going to have our Devin Singletary right here. We're going to have to put in all these cards in order to get Tremaine 
and he's selling for around 10k, so that's about 26,000 coins right now. Uh, Dion Dawkins is going to be selling for a price of around 5k, uh, so let's say that goes up to around 30k. We also have to get Matt Milano, uh, who right now is going for around 25k, so that's a pretty expensive one. I'm not sure why he's so pricey right now, um, but we also have to get John Feliciano, who right now is going for 2k, and then we also are going to have to snag our Levi Wallace, who right now is selling for a price of 450 coins. Um, that's on bid. I'm assuming he's going to sell for around 2,000 coins. So after all that math, this set should be costing you around 55,000 coins to get it done. Um, you can also take a look at some of the other ones, like this Titans one could be a little cheaper. I would recommend you end up doing the numbers on these. But on average, the Chiefs one, the Titans one, and the Bills ones, they're probably all going to cost you around 50,000 coins. Um, and you can do any of these so you can see which one's the cheapest. If the market changes after you get the first one done, you can do a different one. But right now, we look like we're around 25k in order to get this one done. Uh, Corey Davis looks like he's selling for a price of 3k, so we're at around 28k. Uh, Daquan Jones right now is going for a price of 25k. I don't know why this card is so expensive, um, but that, that's going to bring your price up a little bit more to probably just over 50,000 coins. Uh, so let's say you end up spending 55k on each of these. If we do 55 times 3, that's going to give you a total cost in order to get all of this done for 75,000 coins. That's going to be the cost of getting three of these cards. You can choose whichever ones are the cheapest, and then you're going to put the three cards into the set in order to get the champ Bailey done. So once we put the three cards into the set, we're going to get our champ Bailey, and we're also going to get three not AFC playoffs. So let's take a look and see um, how much training those 95s are going to go for and how much coins we can make off of those 95s. So right now, 95 overalls have a quick sell value of about 25,000 coins. When they're a not, that gets divided in half. So that means that essentially when we quick sell those three cards, we should be able to make around 37,000 training. Now with that 37,000 training, there's a little bit of stuff you can do with it. Um, if you want to with your 37k training, you could rip it all uh, using these alternate offensive playbooks. You should be able to make around 100,000 coins doing that. Um, if you don't want to do that, you could do theme diamond two set pieces. You could do 85 plus theme builders player. Essentially, all this is free training that you can use with whatever. But let's say you end up doing this and you make an additional 100,000 coins off of that. Um, then you're going to be sitting in a really good spot because again, it costed us 175,000 coins uh, to get the set done. We can sell the champ Bailey for 190K. So that's going to just break even with the 175 after tax. But you got that free 30,000 training, which you can use on everything. You can grind the alternate playbook method and you can get 100K like that. Um, if you don't want to do that, that takes a little bit too long for you. Um, you can come in here and open up some of these other packs with trading. It's going to be totally up to you, but you should be able to make between, I would say, like 40,000 coins or 30,000 coins if you just rip these theme diamond two set pieces to 100,000 coins if you're patient enough to do this offensive playbook fantasy pack. So yeah, that's going to do it for the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Be sure to drop a like down below. Honestly, these methods are really, really easy. I'm expecting everyone that watches this should be able to make a couple hundred thousand coins very easily. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it. And until next time, fellas, I'm out. Have a great rest of your day. 